If you want a cybersecurity job in 2026, this is the video you need to watch because I'm going to walk you through the exact skills that get people hired. Not internet theories, not random lists, the real skills hiring managers ask for me every single week. I'm a recruiter, I see the applications, I see the interviews, and I see who gets hired and who doesn't. Most people are focusing on the wrong things. They study for months, they collect certifications, they learn tools they will never use. Meanwhile, the people who actually get interviewed often focus on just a few simple skills. So today you will get the five skills that matter most, the ones that will get you in the room and the ones that will make hiring managers say yes. Hey everyone, my name's Luke. I'm a career coach and a recruiter. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Let's get straight to the video. Number one, cloud security basics. So let's begin with the skill that is not optional in 2026, cloud. Every company is in the cloud. AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, it doesn't matter which one you choose, you just need to understand how cloud environments work. And listen, you don't need to be a cloud engineer, you don't need deep architecture knowledge, you just need to understand the basics of how things move in the cloud. So start with identity, start with access, how login works, how storage and compute are secured, because the truth is most cyber incidents now involve cloud environments in some way, whether that's identity misuse, misconfigure storage, exposed credentials, weak access policies. So if you understand the basic security concepts of the cloud, you instantly separate yourself from beginners. And I see this every day. Candidates who understand cloud basics get interviews faster. They really do. They sound more confident. They understand how modern environments actually work. And it's what hiring managers look for. They can also hold a conversation with the interviewer. You don't need to master every everything though, start with one platform. Learn the basics, build one small project, show it in your interview. Now that alone will give you an advantage over the other candidates. Moving on to number two, seam and log understanding. So let's talk about seam skills because this is one of the biggest hiring gaps I see. Every security team uses a seam. Splunk, Microsoft Sentinel, QRadar, and most beginners list these tools on their resume, but they can't actually explain what they did with them. So if you want to stand out, you need more than tool names. You need to understand what logs show, how alerts work, how to read basic queries and how to investigate simple events. This doesn't mean you need to be an expert level. It means being able to walk through a log and say, here is what happened. This is what looks suspicious. This is what I would check next. And this ultimately is what hiring managers care about. Let me give you an example. If I ask you, what you would you look for in a suspicious login? What would you say? Well, most beginners freeze. They can't explain it. But someone who has done a few free labs can say things like, well, I would check the IP. I'd check the location. I'd check the device. And I'll check if the user user has done this before and I would check for any other related events. It's very simple, it's clear, but it's confident and it instantly makes you more horrible. So if you want interviews, build a tiny bit of seam experience. Even an hour or two a week makes a huge difference. Do this and watch the results. Okay, moving on to number three, detection thinking. So now we're getting into a skill that separates good candidates from great ones and that's detection thinking. Now you do not need to be a threat hunter, let me make that clear. And you do not need to build complex detection. You do need to think through things, threats in a logical way. So when alert fires, can you explain what you would check? Can you explain what you would expect to see in the logs? Can you explain how you would confirm if something is real or a false alarm? These are the things you need to be thinking about. And this is ultimately what SOC managers want, your thought process. So let me give you a real example. Let's say there is a phishing alert, which happens a lot. A weak candidate may simply say, well, I would investigate it. Whereas a strong candidate would say, I would check the sender, the domain, I would check if the link was clicked. I'll check the browser history. I would look for follow-up activity like MFA prompts or new logins. I'd also check if any credentials were used after the email was open. Now that is detection thinking. That is what gets you hired because hiring managers, they can teach tools, they can teach you procedures, but they can't teach you how you think. So if you can explain attacks in very simple terms and walk through how you would verify them, you instantly become a top tier beginner. All right, moving on to number four, basic script and understanding. Now let's get something very clear before I go any further. You do not need to know how to code to get into cybersecurity. And as I've done in a previous video, which you may have seen, you don't need to be a coder or a programmer to go into cybersecurity. I've said that before and I'm saying it here again, but here is the important part. I do recommend understanding a few basics. And there's a big difference between understanding basics and being a full on coder. Now, even very simple basics will help you stand out because every team uses scripts. They use them to automate tasks, to clean log data, to process alerts, to check systems, to gather information faster. You 
don't need to know how to build anything complex. You don't need really advanced knowledge. Just simple things help. If you can understand reading a Python script and understand what it does or running basic commands in PowerShell or Bash, this will help you just stand above your competitors. Knowing how to adjust a simple script, being comfortable with small bits of automation. It shows two things. It shows you can solve problems and you can grow quickly once you get hired. So if you avoid scripting completely, you'll still get the job. But if you understand just a little, you'll become a stronger candidate. So the goal here is not to become a programmer. The goal is to understand the very basics that help you at work and become a stronger candidate. Number five, communication and documentation. This is one of the most underrated skills in cybersecurity and it comes back to the soft skills section we've talked on and on about. And it is one that gets people promoted faster than anything else. And that's communication. If you can explain technical problems clearly, if you can speak to people who don't understand security, remember you will do because in cybersecurity, you'll be liaising with stakeholders in the business who have no idea what you're talking about. So if you can document what happened in a very simple way hiring managers will love you because security is not just alerts it's people it's meetings it's writing incident summaries and it's explaining risk to leaders who have never touched a scene most beginners focus only on tools and they forget that security teams need people who can talk so focus on this speak clearly summarize your thoughts explain things simply write things in a very clean structured way great communication makes you stand out way more than any other skill and i see it all the time if there's two Two candidates with the same technical knowledge, I can tell you the one who communicates better always gets the job, always. So there you go. These are the five skills that will get you hired in 2026. Not 20 skills, not an overwhelming list, just five. And every single one of them is learnable. Start today with one. Build a simple project. Practice a little each week and show these skills in your interview. This is how people get hired and this is how you stand out. This is how you stand out from all the other candidates that I read about all the time online when people are saying, there's so many people looking, I can't get a job. This is how you stand out and this is how you build a real future in cybersecurity. If you've enjoyed this video, which I hope you have and I hope you found it helpful, hit like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want more coaching support i help people land their first roles and progress in their career the link's in the description now thanks very much for watching as always keep leveling up your career i'll see you on the next video